another Donkey Kong. This one's gonna be a double Donkey Kong. But first, I have something we haven't done a video on yet. Arcade Legends 3 Pedestal. Let's go up, uh, Dorian's putting it together now. Dorian has started unpacking the last one made. This is a Pedestal Arcade Legends 3. And it is the last, last one in the country, brand new, right from Chicago Gaming. They had this last unit on the shelf. Um, and we have a customer that wants to get it. And it's come in a variety of boxes and things, so we're going to put it together. Actually, I'm going to make this boy do it. But it's your first one, right? It is my first one, and apparently my last. Yes, there'll be no more. Uh, unless they could be talked into making more of these, but we're going to get this set up and we're going to see what it looks like now. Well, Dorian has done it. Actually, it's just a matter of bolting these on the side and all the other things are for the pedestal. We, what we've done, the man getting this is actually going to be putting this um, TV on the wall. He's got it. This doesn't come with a television. We happen to have a view sign. This is the future. Uh, laying around so we can hook it up. I thought you might like to see how neat it is. So you can scan through all these wonderful games. Um, there's the, you remember Rescue? There's some terrific games. There is Rastan. Oh look, they've got the, is that the original, ran oh the original Rampage. We've got a nice menu of games here. Here's Plotting. You know, I always wanted to play that, Frank. Now's your chance. Yeah, now's my chance. Yeah. Pirate Pete. Look at that. That looks a lot like Jungle Hunt. Neat. Now, this was always a great game. I always loved Pepper. Ninja Spirit. Now, if there's 135 games it comes from the factory with, and then you can buy extra kits that they're selling. Now, there's a game you never see. Mousetrap. Boy, is that a tough game. It's very hard. Moon War. I've got a cabaret Moon War. I do. Cabaret. Moon. Look at that. What's Minefield? That, that looked just like that other game. Wasn't there another game that looked just like it? Ah, hmm. uh, Lunar Rescue. I, I, you know what, I played this in another one. <laughs> now here's a game that is really neat because you have to go to, Stern released this and it was a kit and you went all around sort of like Indiana Jones -ing, and you had to avoid the spiders. It was actually pretty good. Look with kids. Hmm. The Liberator. We had an Atari, a really clever Atari original and um, uh, with the trackball and of course the nice thing here is that there is a trackball. No, so our Liberator is the one that went to Alabama, isn't it? Alabama, yes. Alabama, IA. And there's Jungle Hunt, of course. That other game on the pirate ship is similar. Isn't it nice how the menu on Arcade Legends it plays the music from it? I just think that's really sharp. They, they really... They, now this is like a beautiful, wonderful menu. Hit and miss. This is the Exidy game uh, that you used a gun to shoot with. Hard hat didn't play this one. You know what? Somebody is going to be having a very good time. This is going to Delaware tomorrow. The guy's been waiting for one of these. No, they've got the beautiful green screen on that. And of course it has all the Golden Tee Golfs, all 28 courses. And there's even some good fighting games in the game. Oh, remember Fax. Fax is like Trivia Wiz. This was actually pretty good. And the good news is the questions weren't too, too old. And of course, the incredibly wonderful crossbow. Now you aim with the joystick rather than the gun. But uh, what a great game that was! What do you think, Frank? I think I think this customer is going to be very thrilled. And beautiful Black Widow. Look, 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 you know what? This is too nice. Maybe I'll take it home for tonight. We should. Now, just like in Black Widow. Yeah, you can, uh, this can be hooked up, obviously, to a larger speaker system. On Black Widow, see the green lines? That means you can go both ways through it. Now, see that thing? You've got to push them either into the center or out. See, before they hatch. Because if that hatches, 
you're going to have trouble. Now see the red lines? I can't go through it. See, I can go one way but not the other. It's like a one-way street. Now that big stupid bug will, will steal your food. See, he just stole it. The sound is not the same yet. It's missing some of the wonderful sound that Atari had with their other games. Um, but um, uh, you can't have everything perfect, right, Frank? Nope. No. So, exit game. But you can add it to your favorites. Battle Zone. There's Asterix Deluxe. Of course, you're playing it on a, even on a, even on the LCD monitor. It's never, never going to look like the uh, vector game. But I'm not sure. Frank, do I sound jaded? I do. Let's try Zoo Crapper. Here we go. It's loading. Well, the sound sounds almost the same. We need that. Nope, missed it. Let's clap them back in. But I didn't. I can't. God, I haven't played. I'm so rusty on this. I haven't played it for two months. Yeah. Frank, I think, I think it's time we get this baby wrapped up. We're going to deliver this. But let's go to the Flash Pinball Machine video we filmed last night. Well, we have to show them Flash. You know, they made 19,500 of them. But none of them in the country look like this one. Let me turn these lights off. He, he has them in the game mode here. This one, he's taking it a little further. Yes, we took off the original flash, but we still have the pop bumper caps. We're gonna give them to the customer, but we think they look better here. And here's why, watch. Look at that. Isn't that dynamite when they light up? Isn't that beautiful? Look, Tony put three blue here and two red here. We knocked out those ugly red things and we put these uh, clear ones in and lit them with purple. Now when we get these targets down over here, see how that dynamite flash there? And it also lights these lanes. Look at that, that dynamite blue. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Now, we lit the hole here with a bendy. So that's got a nice color, a nice beautiful color and look. Blue at the bottom, white. I think we've come into our own, haven't we, Frank? With our lighting on this. Now, all the flippers have boatloads of new parts. We really had to do a lot of work. You know, Frank, I have footage when we were working on the flash when it first came in. Let's cut to that real quick. Come back, I want to show you something back there. Frank, always working. Look. See what work looks like? <laughs> Alright, look, we're working on... What should I do with these? Okay. We're working on a flash pinball. Yeah. We should. Yeah. I'm working on it. How's that? That's better? That's on shit. You just got back here. You said, hold this camera. Actually, you know who was working on this? My Tony. And... Everything has been done on the top, but see, we take everything off the play field. We? I did. He's already got the drop targets done, new targets, new sleeves. So everything is being worked on methodically. Yay! Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the colors. Beautiful and bright. Now right back here, <coughs> pardon me. We're, we're just starting on the electric, but I, we're just starting on the electronics. But I wanted to show you that this power supply was never updated. And here's how you know. Do you see those yellow caps? That was supplying voltage to a circuit they never used. And these will hold a charge even with the game turned off. You have to be really careful because it's almost for. Ah! See, Frank? I got that in. I got that in. And again, oh. and again, and again, and again. Maybe it'll be funny on the 750th time. <sighs> Did I make anybody jump? Okay, no. In fact, these these are holding a super high charge. And even if the machine is off and you took the board out and you touched the back of it, you would get that, that charge. Frank, can you give me your cutters, please? You can rent them. 
please. You can rent them. I'll get them. You can rent them. Oh. If you have them in your game, turn the machine off and cut them out immediately. Just like that. How about those blue ones above it? You want to get rid of them too? <laughs> no, they don't have no displays at all. Okay? Like the Stooges when they're ripping the wires out of the pipe. Well, these wires no are wonder clogged. these pipes, the water don't work. These pipes are clogged up with wires. <laughs> anyway, problem solved. Okay? Why are you great? He's great. Now we'll continue working on this game. It's time we go back to the next we. game here. Yes, we. we. Uh, this back glass, somebody clear coated. Actually, clear coated it. Paid a lot of money to clear coat it. The problem is, of course, they clear coated it, but there were still spots missing. So Tony, Tony, who oh got to call me? Stephen, as is he still here? No, Stephen left that worthless 10 p.m. and he left. I'm leaving at 10:05. Wouldn't say that if he was here. We're going out for tomato rice soup. It's Tuesday night. Have fun. These videos are encompassing several days. Anyway. He has gone around the edges, matched all the colors. You would never know this glass was painted. It looks so nice. We have super bright LEDs back here, as you can clearly see. Actually, we still have Kurt. Over there in that box, can you get these last two uh, cups right here? Don't tell me no. I, I, you work for me. Busy. Busy? You can't say that to me. Sure. Now look, go, go over there in that box. That, that priority that mail box. That box. Yeah, but the priority mint. Look, follow my follow. Thousand boxes. Pass the whirlwind. There's a box, a priority mail box. Alright. Here, let me show you back here now. Swing around. This one? Yes. Yeah. 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 These are extra parts. Drop target. Look, I need you to put Please. Did you see the mod I did to this game? Oh, let's see this mod. Who saved this? Why would anybody save this? I added a light too. I added a light. Yeah, isn't that nice? Oh, look. Figured. That's perfect. Tony lit the uh, owl hole. I forgot to light the back corner. My mod. You're wasting my LEDs and batteries on stupid stuff, young stupid, man. Stupid, but. It's a mod. Did you see my mod? Kurt, I'm still... I'm showing them the boards. Did you say install these? Yes. Uh, you will. Now look, we put three new sockets in here, okay? A new 5101. We've got a new battery. The customer can change himself with a block. A new blocking diode. You have, have, have to change on all Williams games the glass diode in there. You have to change it to a, a good diode. A uh, 4007, the well, higher rate. What will happen if you don't? Will, you will have the lithium blow up if the glass diode cracks. Okay, so that is a must. Okay, now the driver board we've serviced. We have all new resistors here. Uh, we have all new connectors. Now, guess what? Who does this for me? Joe at Coin Service. Okay, he's in Ben Salem. Here's contact information. He will rebuild these boards for you. We are so busy, I'm sending the boards to him. We haven't put our locking screws in yet, so our board is still not attached. But we send these boards out to him to rebuild. We like the original Williams boards. We also make sure that all of these are zero ohm resistors or staples. An office stapler will fit in the exact same holes without um, changing them because that makes the switches more sensitive. Uh, look, all the new. Uh, caps on the board and you change these two resistors here because uh, they do need them. The only thing left to do, Kurt, we'll get the screws in here and we need to put the cage in here because this is extremely high voltage and you... Ah! Should that be for real? Did you hear the other phone? Walter's phone ring. Nobody here by that name. I have to get the new camera today. Okay. 
fiddle with this. I can't. I don't know. Huh? Did you show him the cabinet? Look, thing is like new. Nice. It's nice. Man's been waiting a long time, so I think he's going to be very happy. Right down to the new flipper buttons. Of course, new springs. Obviously, new rubbers. We even have LEDs lighting up the coin slots. Beautiful thing. Oh, and listen, we do one more thing. The background sound. I had Kurt write that down. Uh, in this game, if the batteries come out, you put that big ball in there on That's purpose. Right, you put that big... I was going to see how far it would go. It won't go anywhere. <laughs> you put that there. It just upset me. That, that ball is from Gottlieb's Strikes and Spares bowling machine. Don't you want to go out? To, we're trying to finish this. Don't you want to go out and eat? I'm going to take those things in since you're done talking. Okay, now, not, not, now. Blah, 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 blah. me all flustered. Now, look. The game defaults with the background sound off. So if the battery comes out, there's that, that wonderful background sound isn't there. To make it easy, when the customer changes his battery and he calls me on the phone like this, he says, there's no background sound anymore. Then I can say, ah, read what it says here and set the programming up. You think I would really say that? <laughs> I grifted a robot and go crazy. <laughs> okay, now, I just noticed something else, Kurt. Nothing. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of the details. And that's what I was looking for. See? It's like the final touch. You want the whirlwind? Looks so nice. And whirlwind needs one? Okay, yes. Yes, whirlwind. Still get in there. Still work on these. We have to get the videos out of order. Don't you like this idea? That, that in fact, was Tony's idea. He says, let's try it. Now, the customer could be upset. Then they just put, they just put the other cats back on. We're not even charging them. Now, uh, should we move on to the next game? We have a karate party going on right now. Isn't that something? They rent our rooms out for private use, but look what came in the mail today from Anchorage, Alaska, from Sean Stewart. Thank you, Todd and company, for making the wonderful videos. I thought you might enjoy some coffee from 4,000 miles away. Your subscriber, Sean. Oh, my God. Look what Thanks, Sean said. Wow, look. The Big Wildlife Blend. And we have the Roaster Fresh. Oh. Oh. One pound of each. But I've never, and Frank hasn't either, I've never seen a two-pound... Look at this silver hook. A two-pound bag of organic coffee beans. Basket. They need their coffee. It's cold up there. So we got our coffee grinder, and I've assigned Frank to give our coffee machine a workout. Should we start with this? What should we start yeah, with? Yeah, let's start with the two-pounder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make it up good. Thanks, Sean. We'll check back. Look what's coming. Christmas. A jackpot. A beautiful jackpot, but it's not quite done yet. We have to put the mirror sides on. But look, my mug from the National Aquarium, and I'm drinking Sean's coffee. Now, the question is, do I want a dolphin mug? No, I don't. I want a more standardized mug. I don't like That's smiling. Huge. It's huge because I drink lots of coffee. And you could have gotten a like shark too. No, that's too huge the other way. Oh, it's wide. I don't like things that are wide. Bob, essentially where you... Everybody likes the coffee. Thanks, Sean. You do like the coffee, right, Jason? Yes, sir. It's better than that crap you buy. <gasps> I only buy the best. The best crap. But Frank, it's now time to show you a 13-foot ski ball. Yes! Frank, you don't get a chance to see these that all that often, you know. I'm yet. in the industry. I see them all the time. Not 13-footers. Got three of them in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Happy fourth. Here we go. Our last games. We have two games going to Maryland. This beautiful strike master. Another beautiful strike. We have new rubbers all around. New instruction panels. We got the new T molding here. Back electronics have all been renovated. We've rebuilt the boards with capacitors and all those things, right Frank? Yep. Side art's great. The base is over here. Now gives you the opportunity to see we have our new heavy duty wheels and base so that will never come loose again, will it Frank? Nope. Oh. And all the boards have been serviced. The pins are clean. Everything is new on that. Boy, that, that came up so nice. And I've got this ski ball. <laughs> no, no, we're looking. It's one thirty in the morning. It's one thirty in the afternoon. Oh shit! Now look, here's a thirteen foot ski ball. You do not see many of these. You also don't see many of these with a brand new play field. Okay, this is new field. New top here, this is all new field, the red field and on top. We have new bags. Although people might think I'm one of those bags, right? Here. We have new rubber stoppers to keep the balls from bouncing around. This has been repainted. My gosh, this is painted ski ball red. Yes, there is a color. Ski ball red. I just made that up. Now listen, see those electronics? See those zeros? We've upgraded it. With LED display panel. Originally, they were little bulbs, and they would, one bulb would go off, and it looked like you had part of a number. All, re, all redone with brand new LEDs for the big numbers. Beautiful. Gosh, this is beautiful. It's pretty much bulletproof. Right, thank you, Kurt. He's turning my lighting on and off to to show the quality. Look at that, Kurt. I got thirty. One thirty in the afternoon, but the sun is blocked. I almost locked this out. Oh God! <laughs> I almost locked this out. The key. Hey, now here's some good news. Uh, the recyclers have come and taken all the televisions, but they have not. My cabinet, my free cabinet, still there. The birds aren't even chirping. It's so late. Well, Kurt. Good night. See you tomorrow. Wait a minute, we gotta get these set. No, they're actually done. And a beautiful job at that. Frank, I'm afraid we've come to the end of yet another one of our combo videos. And I'm exhausted. So that time at the movies must have been exhausting needing dinner. Good night. Good night. We're done here!